Okay, so the left hand one here now, we're kind of showcasing the move that you're trying to make. Okay, so if we look here now, that line's a bit off there. So that's the, and then you can see where your left hip now is moving towards target. Now we want to be doing that left hip movement basically as you start getting to about here. Because obviously when you're doing a slow practice swing, there's no force now from the club coming back down this way to throw the body in that direction. So when you do a practice swing, it's a lot easier, okay, to get here and then you can go whoop, and you can move towards target, leave the arms back behind and the club can come back in that kind of forward shaft lean position that we've talked about, okay? So that's okay in terms of a feel for the practice swing. As we said, grip is much better. Left side needs to be a little higher, but otherwise the setup wise very, very good. Setup. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The feel now in terms of the swing is that right shoulder. And I suppose in some ways just the right side of your body. Right yeah. hip, right shoulder. You've got to make sure when you take the golf club back that you get what we call some depth in the swing. So the same you would do if you're sort of taking a forehand shot in tennis, you just get your right arm behind you and you'd swing the racket as you would normally do. With this golf shot now, we want to get the hands get some depth in the back. So the right hip now is going to move. As you go back, right shoulder is going to get behind there. So we get a good turn of the shoulders, get the club back behind you here now. The key thing is now, once that right shoulder's got behind your head, plenty of depth in the swing and your right hip's gone back, it's now keeping that back behind. And what I'm looking for is a sort of a checkpoint, more for my own reference, but you can be aware of it, okay? Is I want that club to be in line with your right forearm, okay? That would then see be a signal that we're on plane, okay? Right, yeah. If you're coming down a little bit steep in the past, we've seen you, you we've had your club kind of in that direction. So yeah, the yeah. fact you're getting close to that right forearm at this position is a good sign that your club now is working more from the correct path in the golf ball and then swinging through, hitting the screen. There you can see it, it right to the white line there in fairness. Yeah. And the ball now has just gone left of it. So that's a bit more kind of the, the screen calibration there. But in terms of the movement, there was much more depth in the backswing and the right shoulder, right hip stayed back for longer. So impact the right shoulder, as we said, is working underneath more into that kind of forehand topspin shot that you would do without thinking about, yeah? yeah, yeah. So the natural move that you do that with a tennis racket, okay? And then through to target, happy days. So that's the feel in terms of the visualisation you want to get there for impact. Yep. Nice straight line there, right arm sort of behind there, right foot moving in there. A lot of good in that. And when you do that, always be mindful of what the club face looks like. Because okay. if you come back and the club face is sort of aiming over here somewhere, way to the right, your brain's going to go, well, that doesn't look very good, does it? Mm. And that's part of why probably your hips go, well, we better try and help this swing to the left and you end up yeah. spinning that way a bit too much, okay? But yeah, definitely some progress there with the movement, okay? Yeah. It's just getting used to that feel of now where that club's going to be coming back. So that'd be sort of, you can see on the takeaway there, see how the club now matched up with your right forearm. So it's on plane on the way back, you just slightly right shoulder over the top on the way back down. Not massively, okay. but it's, a, it's definitely in a, certainly a much better position we've seen before. We've had that club, I say, almost not oh, quite 12 o'clock, yeah, but yeah, yeah it's, it's moving down in the direction we want to get into. So the club eventually will start swinging more kind of in that direction to impact as opposed to across the left. Okay. So I'm thinking at, at, at setter, my left shoulder. Left shoulder further, higher. Higher. And then when and you then swing when it, I swing back, right, right shoulder, shoulder, yeah. Right yeah, back. get that back and now let your arms come back down. Now this one's going to work underneath. I mean, this goes down, yeah. that left hip's going to go gonna forward. Go. Exactly, okay. yeah. It's gonna be, I don't think it's actually possible to get your right shoulder to go down and your left. <laughs> you're not, you're not You'd have to tie that. yourself in knots yeah, to do I that. Think so. that's something to do thinking about my hip. And my yeah. hip's been doing something. Funny. I think your hip, I think as well, your hip's trying to move to the left. Yeah. When you're at the top of the back swing, but okay. by then it's too late sometimes, yeah? Because yeah? yeah. you've already started bringing the club down in this direction. And then I throw it again. And then you're sort of just trying to fire the left yeah. hip. And when you do that sometimes, it doesn't feel comfortable. No. Shot be terrible in fairness, okay? Because okay? yeah. you're here now, kind of getting there, and then you're sort of trying to fire that way. You just yeah. you dump the ground and way behind the ball. Okay? Yeah, great. Good stuff. Well done.